The little song which you have just heard performed by Arthur Freeman was composed by the Viennese Kapellmeister Antonio Salieri for voice and ten wind instruments to celebrate a minor victory during the Napoleonic Wars. It speaks of the courage of the Austrian soldier and then says, let it be written in our hearts and on all the pages of history, let it be etched in stone and bronze, the year 1809. Well, of course, today, hardly anyone alive can think of anything that occurred in 1809. And that's the way it is with time. It alters our perspective of the importance of men and events. And so with the rivals of Mozart, many of them were much more famous during their lifetimes than they are today. An example is Johann Wendt, who was Mozart's first rival in Vienna. Wendt was oboist with the court orchestra and leader of the Emperor's Wind Ensemble. Mozart speaks in a letter of 1782 of having to stay up all night to arrange one of his operas for wind band for fear someone else would do it. And scholars agree he was talking about Johann Wendt. There are 25 surviving works for wind ensemble by Wendt. We're now going to hear two movements from one of his partitas in E flat.
Another of Mozart's rivals, perhaps even one of his enemies in Vienna, was the composer Leopold Kozeluk. Mozart's correspondence makes it clear that he believed Kozeluk was intriguing against him in the court. And we have a later character witness in the person of Beethoven who referred to Kozeluk as that miserabilis. There's also evidence to suggest that Kozeluk understood, at least privately, that Mozart was the greater composer. Kozeluk was offered Mozart's old job in Salzburg, but he was afraid to take it, for, as he observed to a friend, if the archbishop treated a man such as Mozart as poorly as he did, how do you suppose he would treat me? There are at least 18 surviving large wind ensemble compositions by Kozeluk. One of these is found today in the Bavarian National Library, and we perform the last movement of this partita. Thank you. 